Hi there, my name is Gary Patterson and I'm looking forward to our time together at the Banff Men's Conference next October. Now we all know our church is having a, a difficult time. In our secular culture more and more people understand themselves as spiritual but not religious. And in our creative and innovative culture, the church too often feels irrelevant defending a tradition that doesn't seem to connect with people, at least not the way it used to. It's almost as if the word God has a credibility problem. And I believe that we really need to explore new ways of reimagining God and the world. And in so doing, I think we'll find there truly is faith that will make a difference in our lives, as men, as ordinary human beings. So at the Vance Conference, I want to try and explore three ultimates, or three God statements. The first, God is deep interconnectedness. Everybody, humans all the way down to quarks, electrons, all the way up to stars and galaxies, all is interconnected, a vast web of energy of being. And God is in all of this, and all of this is in God almost as if the entire cosmos, the universe, were like a, well, a womb inside of a mother or a pearl inside of an oyster. So deep is that interconnectedness. And although we may feel small, we are also very much included. And as we savor diversity, original blessing, all our relations, we might experience what some people are calling green grace. Secondly, though, God as ultimate compassion. For although the universe is inexpressibly beautiful, it's also full of suffering and pain. So how are we going to talk about Einstein's key question, is the universe friendly or not? So I want to explore my belief that God is present, always with us, as the power of love. But this is not an all-powerful, controlling love that runs the show. It's more persuasive rather than coercive. We can actually get a glimpse of this when we look at God the way Jesus did, using the term Abba, that Aramaic term for father that catches the intimacy of daddy or of papa, which I think is so much more fruitful more loving than talking about the almighty king and lord who rules everything. Some people are calling this red grace. And the third thing that I want to explore is God as the call forward. For in every moment and in every decision, God is present as energy, as love, luring us forward into new possibilities, into new directions. Sure, the past flows into and shapes every moment, but God is also there, suggesting that there is a new way, a new possibility that will lead us into a future that is more complex, intense, and loving. Yes, it may call for some sacrifices. We may need to let go of ego or privilege or security, but I think we will discover how significant our decisions are and how they make a difference, not only for us or for family, friends, community, but in fact for the world. So there we are, three statements, beliefs about God, deep interconnectedness, ultimate compassion, the call forward. And as we look at these, I think we will discover, in fact, a faith that can enliven us as men and will, in fact, make a difference. But hey, you're going to have to show up at uh, BAMP next October, and together we'll see what happens and how it develops. I really hope that I'll see you there.